Hi, my name is Kendra Pottinger, and this is my external factor speech for Management 202. There are over 1.35 billion monthly active users, 864 million people logging on daily, and five new profiles being created every single second. Founded in February of 2004 by Harvard student Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook is the largest online social networking site worldwide. Over the past four years, Facebook has had many external factors that have attempted to take down the company, but they still continue to remain a strong force in social media. Not only have I been a user of Facebook since 2006, but I have also conducted lengthy scholarly research on external factors affecting this company. Over the next few minutes, you're going to hear me talk about two of the main external factors that have affected Facebook Inc. in the past four years. The first is the increased amount of competition Facebook has been facing from both Google and Twitter. In the second half of this speech, I'll be discussing the different ways Facebook is being used to commit cyber crimes. Although Facebook remains number one in the world of social media, there are two companies that are doing everything they can to keep up with this company. <clears throat> the biggest threat to Facebook is Google because they have the largest share of the online advertisement business. Facebook is stepping up their game by building a DSP. This is a piece of ad buying software that will let advertisers run ads all over the internet using Facebook's data and identity information. This move will put a lot of pressure on Google. One way that Google is staying in the game is by creating their own social networking site called Google+. It is the second most popular social networking site right behind Facebook. Google is doing their social media site right from the very beginning, and this is something they take a lot of pride in. When Facebook was first launched in 2004, they changed the meaning of what it is to have a profile page about five or six times. This is something that Google is trying very hard to avoid. Along with social networking, it is also an authorship tool that associates web content directly with its owner. Twitter is another, another social networking site that continues to gain more and more users every single day. There are currently more than 500 million users on Twitter who post around 340 million tweets per day. Twitter also handles around 1.6 billion search queries every single day and has been described as the SMS of the internet. Of course, Facebook and Twitter both have their advantages and disadvantages, but many people argue that Twitter has more practical uses than Facebook. Searching hashtags has made it very convenient, convenient for all businesses to see what is being said about them. Twitter was the first site to use the modern day hashtag, and it has made searching discussions, online exchanges, and even more easier than ever. It is obvious that Twitter and Facebook will continue to be fierce rivals for years to come. You can view competition as something that is extremely positive. Competition can keep you motivated and keep you pushing yourself further than you ever thought possible. Unfortunately, the second external factor, cybercrimes, cannot be viewed as a positive factor. Catfishing is defined as tricking people into emotional or romantic relationships over a long period of time by fabricating online identities and entire social circles. Catfishing can be done in a couple of different ways. The first way it can be done is by stealing the majority of another person's identity and creating and controlling a new profile page of that person. It can also be done by stealing the pictures of someone they find physically attractive and creating an entire new online persona for that person. This, these profiles are usually created for romantic purposes, but they are also created to simply bully someone online without having to show their face. As of 2012, Facebook said that there are an estimated 83 million Facebook fake fake Facebook profiles on their site. This could have a big impact on Facebook because the site relies heavily on advertisers for the majority of its revenue. If the site cannot prove that they are reaching authentic users, advertisers could become wary about placing their ads on Facebook. The Wall Street Journal describes phishing as the dismal signs of getting people to divulge personal financial information on fake websites. 
On Facebook, it is becoming increasingly common for scammers to steal passwords and other sensitive data by imitating trusted sources. Facebook has become the second most targeted brand on the internet according to a monitoring service called Fish Tank. This problem is likely to get even bigger as more users play online games and purchase virtual goods through their credit cards. The most common way phishing is being performed on Facebook is by hacking into an account and messaging that person, person's friends and family and asking them for money and claiming it's an emergency. People are more likely to trust that personal message on Facebook from a friend or a family member before they would trust a spam email. There are a lot of scary things that can happen to users on the internet and on sites like Facebook, so it is important to never give out your personal information and these types of issues can be avoided. During this speech, I have discussed two of the main external factors that have affected the company Facebook Incorporated over the past four years. The first ex external factor that I discussed was the increased amount of competition that Facebook has had to stand up against. The two main threats are coming from both Google and from Twitter. The second external factor that has troubled Facebook Incorporated over the past four years is cybercrimes. The two main ways that cybercrimes are being committed are through catfishing and also through phishing. Although Facebook Incorporated has had to deal with so many external factors that are trying to tear their company down, they still remain the largest social networking site and they plan on expanding even further in years to come. Thank you for listening to my speech and for a great class this semester.